Max, Max Bowen is here. You're an editor. That's you know right. this English language yep. so much better than I. <laughs> do you take an umbrella or do you bring an umbrella? You bring one. All right. You bring yeah. it with you. You bring it. But you take it home. Exactly. See, exactly. I always get confused with that. And now you've, <laughs> now you've squared away for me. So, All right. I do what so, I can. Cause it, so if you say take an umbrella, really not. It's, you bring an umbrella. Exactly. Yeah. You, well, you, you take bring it, something. You take it if you're you know, stealing it. But Well, <laughs> <laughs> and could you bring my umbrella back, please? That no. That's the question, Jack. Just because you stand under an umbrella doesn't mean you understand the umbrella. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Joey Zen. <laughs> 742, the Bill Ricker Spotlight on 980 WCAP, Merrimack Valley Radio, is sponsored by Merrimack Valley Insurance Agency, right on 655 Boston Road in Bill Ricker. Merrimack Valley Insurance serves Main Street with long-term relationships and auto registry right out of their office. So go to MVINS.com and get the best personal service from Merrimack Valley Insurance. Bill Ricker joining us now as he does every week at this time. The editor of the Bill Ricker Minuteman, Mr. Max Bowen, is here. Morning, Max. Morning, Jack. How are you? And you brought the, you brought the ladies with you today. I you're, have. You've yeah. Got a, you've got a posse with you today. Yeah, you're, you're, my fan. You're an entourage my fan club here. You know. <laughs> so why don't we introduce who we've got with us okay. this morning? Well, I've got uh, Brenda, Denise, and Donna of of um, Epoxy Technology, and they're here today to um, talk about a food drive, which they and the other businesses of uh, Manning Park did over the month of July. Oh, excellent. And they brought in, was it um, uh, 1,600 pounds of food? Yep. Yeah. Wow, you need to be closer yeah. on that microphone. Move yeah. that over there for Max so we can hear yeah. all your and, brilliant um, words. Yep. This, uh, the, this uh, drive w- was, was called Christmas in uh, July. They had an employee dressed up as Santa Claus. No, no sorry. I that, was it, Santa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they did, you know, they did uh, um, uh, roadside collections and just really amazing that one month they bring in that much food. It's and, amazing what you can do. Yeah. Now, how did this idea all come together? Well, uh, we as a company do a few things each year for um, uh, community service. We have a team and we usually do uh, something around Thanksgiving, Christmas in the fall. Uh, we try to do something in the spring, um, usually not in the summer, but this year when we got together, we decided we'll do something uh, in the summer, and we thought of a food drive because the recession is so bad and food pantries are really hurting, and so we thought that we would do a food drive, and then somebody came up with Christmas in July. Which is always a, a great yeah. idea. Yeah. 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 I love Christmas, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we started out um, uh, notifying all the companies in our park, in Manning Park, and, uh, and how many companies are, are, are there in that? Uh, I, I ride by it all the time. I never actually stop in. You know, it's to think about twenty. Yeah, yeah, there's that many. Wow. Yeah, there's yeah. quite a few. Yeah. And how was the response when you went to door to door and said, "Here's what we're doing"? It was good. It was really good. Um, most of the companies responded, and they had a really good outpouring of um, support. And um, we would stand up. We started standing out uh, on the when the at the park's entrance, and I was Santa, and Brenda was an elf. And Denise was collecting food, and one day turned into two, two d- turned into three, because as people got used to seeing us there, they said, are you going to be back here tomorrow? Are you they wanted be back more. Here tomorrow? Yeah, they well, wanted you know. more, yeah. So then people started stopping and dropping off food and donating money, and it just snowballed from there. And Were you amazed at the spirit of giving? Because, yeah, you, you know, we're all being affected, uh, you know, yeah. uh, by these economic situation, what's going on. You know, everybody's, you know, digging deep. Yeah. But it seems like times like this, people are just more generous because they know Absolutely. how much it yeah. means yeah yeah well, it, i thought that a lot of people were very very generous because a lot of these buildings when we drove around to pick up food uh, they have huge parking lots and there's only about 10 12 cars in these parking lots so you know that every company is at the bare minimum yeah. and you know don't have a lot of people working there but yet we'd come out with boxes and boxes of food which was great and uh where did this uh, uh food all go to uh, the um, Billerica Food Pantry. Okay. Uh, which is located on 3A. All right. Now, now and how many people would you do, do? You know how many people they serve? Like in, in the course of a day, do they? Uh, they say that they're up to um, three hundred families. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 Quite a few. Now I gotta ask you. You you're out there dressed as um as um Santa. Santa. How did you last? In this heat. <laughs> yeah. Well, we started at 7 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. Uh, and it wasn't too bad. Um, 
Taylor Rental in Chemsford donated the Santa suit for us. Mm-hmm. Thank uh, you, Taylor Rental. Yep, yeah. thank you, Taylor <laughs> Rental. Uh, and it was kind of thin, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Uh, but the beard was very itchy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had to make a lot of promises to people come Christmas, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, really? Like what? <laughs> I just told them I wouldn't forget them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Santa also visited some of the companies in the park, Santa and the Elf. And donated, um, they went around with candy canes and tried to promote the drive. Bring up the spirit. Yeah. yeah. And the spirit was definitely there. People were very uh, welcoming to the idea and giving. Yeah, you know, one of, one of the things that I, usually, I, that I usually hear about the different food pantries is that when, come, that, when, that when, that when it comes time for Christmas, Thanksgiving, when people really are in the most need, that's when the shelves are practically empty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I'm sure this is a good time as well. Oh, definitely. You know, where people aren't really thinking about it. Sometimes, you know, you, you're right, Max. You know, come the holidays, everybody kind of gets a little bit more into that that spirit. And, you, you know, you're here in, you know, summertime mode. You're in vacation mode. You don't think that, right. you know, uh, hunger does not take a vacation. Right, exactly. Yeah. So definitely yeah. not. The, need, the need is always there. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Now, um... Was this uh, drive strictly limited to just the companies, or did you have people from like outside the area stopping by to to uh, drop off food and whatnot? Um, I think we did have a few outside people. Okay. Uh, Market Basket uh, donated um, a check for the food pantry. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, do we have anybody else outside? A couple of our, our truck drivers. Oh, the truck drivers. Well, yeah, they came into the company. company. Yeah. We saw that yeah. you know that this was going on and donated. All right. So. But we mostly tried to keep it within the park. When we stood um, near the entrance of the industrial park, we made sure to stand back off the Middlesex Turnpike so we didn't cause any accidents when they turned and saw Santa Claus yeah. in July. Yeah, that would kind of a, you know, whoa, what is that? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Ladies, you should all be complimented, you know, and thank you. And I, I, I'm sure, you know, the, the company is very proud of you for uh, doing this work and uh, the food pantry and everybody that uh, it benefited. And we want to thank you so much oh, you're for the, uh, you. the work that you did. Just uh, one more question. Now, uh, will you be doing this again next year? Is this going to become like um, uh, um, a regular thing for your company? Well, we've had requests to do it again, so yeah, we might do it again next year. Oh, yeah. hope Backed so. by popular yeah. demand. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Santa, <laughs> Santa returns this summer. It becomes yeah. a tradition, yeah. Well, until, you know, <laughs> until people aren't hungry anymore. We've got to keep doing it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Got to do traffic, uh, and uh, Max will be back and talk about some lots... Once again, nothing going on in no, Bill Rick no, to talk no, about. No, 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 quiet town. <laughs> nothing, nothing happening at all. He's Max Bowen, the editor of the Bill Rick Amendment and uh, Bill Rick Spotlight here every uh, Thursday.